Hey guys, I'm back with a, another tutorial. And last time I talked about the relationship modifier and the bullseye, and this time I want to talk about the NPC spawner. And this is probably the most requested one. The most I've seen people asking me uh, how to use it in the comments. People who have even made discussions in my group asking how, how the whole thing works. So, let's get started with, uh, with the basics. First thing is, before I talk about the settings here, uh, I'm going to talk about the spawners in, you know, in NPC packs, like let's say Random Z or Random Z spawner. So, so this one, for example, Random Z, this one is actually doing the same thing that this tool does. It's, uh, it's basically a spawner. It spawns one NPC and then removes itself. Same with this thing. With the Z spawner. Except this one, of course, it doesn't remove itself because it, if you kill one, it spawns another one after about 3 seconds. Yep, that's the default setting. So with this tool, you can basically replicate those and make your own. And so yeah, let's get started. Let me just reset to the world. Okay. First thing is, you notice it says selected NPC. It says unknown. So you want to select an NPC right now. And these are all the current NPCs in my game. Yours are probably different, probably more or less. You can change their category by name or class name. Or, you know, the category that they are in. So, let's say Alien Swarm Drones, the basic drone. Let's select one of those. And next thing is. I'll talk about these uh, later, in a bit. Same with this one. Right now I want to just show you basic spawner on how to make one. So you just press update list, and there you go. Drone, position, and equipment. So you just uh, press left click, and this one creates a spawner. So if I were to kill it, it spawns another one. But, if I were to right click when spawning it, and I kill it, it won't spawn another one. Because when you right click, it makes the spawner, what it does is that it spawns this NPC and then removes itself. But this one doesn't remove itself. It's always there constantly checking if the NPC is alive. If not, it spawns another one, depending on the next spawn time. So, I want to talk about how how to make multiple NPCs spawn in a spawner, like this one. So what you would do is, you would select another NPC, I'm just going to use another drone, and I'm going to change its position. I'm going to make it 100 world units forward, enter, and I want to make it 100 world units going towards right. If you are to put negative, it would be towards left. Same with the forward, it would be uh, backwards if, if you were to put negative. And as for the up one, you could make it go up if you want. Like 100 units up, or you can make it down 100 units, so let me show you what I mean. See, the other drone is probably somewhere stuck in the ground. Yeah, see? So, I wouldn't really do that. <laughs> but, you know, it's a, it's an option. Let's see, if I were to remove the negative. Remove. Let me see. Let me remove these two. Okay. See? It spawns up there. I kill it, it spawns in the same location. Alright, so, um, in order to make, like, big spawners like this one, that's basically how you do it. You basically 
select the NPC that you want, put in the position, and then add it to the table. And the table doesn't matter how many NPCs there are, you can have as many as you want. So I'm going to show you how to make like a basic one that spawns like, like five of them. So right now we have one that goes 100 units forward and right. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one that spawns 100 units towards the left. So update list, and then another one that's um, 100 units back. Press update list. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. One one of them was one of them spawns uh, up. But yeah, you you get the idea basically. So, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's that simple. And you know, if you were to right click, oop, that one just went through the ground. <laughs> yeah, respawn it in a more flat area. Oh god, this map this map isn't very stable when it comes to the ground because this whole thing over here is a big displacement, like a dis displayed displacement brush. So. Maybe over here it could work. Yeah, see? This is more flat, so it works perfectly. But yeah. You see how over here I can remove them one by one? That's what happens if you spawn it using the right click. See? Boom, boom, boom. But if I were to spawn it with left click, they all remove at once. So right click is pretty useful if you want to make like a giant army of, I don't know, like drones spawn like once and just you know make them attack you or invade somewhere that, that's basically how you how you would do it now other settings such as the uh, play NPC spawning sound if I were to uncheck that you see it no longer plays any sound when they spawn see if I were to kill one of them it doesn't spawn anything. Like it, it, do, it doesn't, it doesn't like spawn the sound again. So yeah, and of course, uh, next spawn time goes all the way to thousand seconds, or you could just make it zero. So as soon as you kill them, another one is already over there. Ooh, you just went invisible. <laughs> so yeah, it's that simple. And what what else? Oh yeah, the weapon thing. Let me just reset this. See if if you press this, it clears the whole thing, but it won't remove the table over here. You you have to double click on each one to remove it. Let me just select the human NPC. Let's see. It's Black Mesa, HECU Marine, and let's give it an NPC weapon. Now this one is all the NPC weapons that are also in your C menu that I will show you in a second so let's say an SMG basically this one over here gets the same table that's over here so it's not it's not all the weapons in your um, gears mod it's only the NPC ones so if I were to press update list and spawn him. There you go. He has an SMG. So yeah guys. That's basically it. It's that simple. It it might it might look it's a bit more it, it might it might look like it's more complicated at first because there's like a lot of settings, but it's it's pretty simple. And I I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. I'll make more. Let let me got let me know guys what what tutorial you guys want, like which tools. Cause so far I've done the bullseye and the relationship modifier. I don't know if you guys want any tutorials for the other ones, because they're pretty simple, but if you want I, I can you know make a tutorial video on those as well. Alright, peace out.